From the world headquarters of Fox News, it's The Kelly File with Megan Kelly. Developing tonight, a brand new analysis from BuzzFeed News has found that in the months leading up to the U.S. election, bogus election news stories generated more engagement on Facebook than top real stories. Now, some on the left are claiming that fake news contributed to the outcome of the race, and President Obama is warning about living in an age of misinformation. There's so much active misinformation, and it's packaged very well, and it looks the same when you see it on a Facebook page or you turn on your television. If everything uh, seems to be the same and no distinctions are made, then uh, we won't know what to protect. Joining us now, Chris Dyerwalt, our Fox News digital politics editor, and Dana Lash, host of Dana on the Blaze TV and author of Hands Off My Gun, Defeating the Plot to Disarm America. Great to see you both. Thanks for Hi. having us. Fake news. It's apparently a real thing, though I don't know that it was a real cause of Hillary's defeat. Let's just start with, the, apparently the fake stories, the biggest ones, include that Mrs. Clinton sold weapons to ISIS, Whoa. Uh, that the Pope endorsed Donald Tr Trump, <laughs> that, that uh, Ireland was accepting American refugees fleeing Donald Trump, and that, <laughs> that, RuPaul, that. that RuPaul, the drag queen, the, you know, right, uh, said he was groped by Trump. Well, that Whoa. RuPaul story, she, I tell you that right there, that probably moved a lot of needles. No, there was, there was some story. Don't say that. There was some story where. <laughs> no, seriously, though, Speed. Okay, there was some story it where it was, they, it, no, it was Media Research Center, and they discovered that about 8% of voters. They determined that maybe if what they had believed was being said about Hillary Clinton that they saw in the news, maybe if they would have believed it, it would have had an impact on the way that they voted. But nobody trusts the media. 78% of voters don't trust the media. That's yep. an MRC poll from last week. Mm -hmm. Don't trust. So I don't really think. And those are so outlandish to the RuPaul. <laughs> That's my favorite. I haven't heard <laughs> that one it. until That's tonight. That's the last straw. Stywalt, you know. Fake news, I guess, could be potentially a problem. Yeah. What seemed to be the bigger issue in this election was real news that was completely ignored by a lot of people for one reason or another. Well, look. On both sides. The attack, the sustained attack on the press. So we earned it in the large part. Uh, the broken faith with the American people uh, by dishonest reporting, heavily biased reporting, passing itself off as objective journalism. Uh -huh. uh, decades of mistakes brought... Some of which was revealed in the WikiLeaks Some was revealed releases. in the WikiLeaks and others just revealed by turning on the television for some <laughs> channels and going, oh, I see how it is. Uh, so all of these decades of, of misconduct laid open the door in 2016 that you had both campaigns, particularly Donald Trump, waging war against the press. Hillary Clinton says, it's because of the coverage of my emails that I'm in trouble. It's like, actually, it's because of the emails that you're in yeah, trouble. Right. And then Donald Trump, of course, with a all-out Anzio beachhead attack on the press. CNN mm. sucks. CNN sucks. Disgusting, I think, was his favorite. Rage yeah. <laughs> and hate against the press. So he ran against the press, and Clinton did to a, to a degree, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he skull stomped the press. <laughs> I, I mean, there's really Ow. no other way to put it. Ow, I mean, we have to use me. it's colorful language, but that's exactly what happened. But the, the thing is, he did to the American media what so many voters have wanted to see happen for the longest time. I mean, think about this. There, back in 2010, even before that, back in 2008, if you didn't vote for Barack Obama, then maybe you have some racist tendencies. That's how this started. Mm -hmm. And then in 2010, right before the health care, unaffordable health care act was passed, uh, that there was the whole story of <laughs> congressional members that had that were spit on by Tea Party demonstrators in Washington, D.C. There was zero proof of this. Right. It was a made up story. Nothing was confirmed. And it kept going and going and going. And the stories got more and more outrageous. This wasn't a left leaning website. It wasn't a right-leaning website that was doing this. This was major network news that was doing this. Uh, I remember there were reports of uh, Tea Party activists that were carrying firearms, but they were cropping people out so you couldn't tell that it was a black American voter who was carrying a firearm lawfully. I mean, that's the kind of stuff they did, so people were But now up. it's like, the, it's, it's almost like you just want to do over. Let's just start the media over again. You know, it's just gotten so clammed up with bad information and bad actors, you know, in some some cases, so, in the eyes of the viewers in mm. particular. Social media is great because it connects people in ways that they haven't been before. The success of Donald Trump is a reflection, not just of his ability to share information or misinformation, but it is uh, reflective of the ability to create a network and an organization of people that transcend normal networks. Great. That's really good. But there is something that we have to pay attention to. 
which is if we can't be sure that we're telling people the truth and there aren't trusted sources, we won't keep the republic. And well, I would say no matter, you know, we, we've taken a lot of bumps and bruises, we the press, yeah. and many of them have been deserved. Some it's, have been better it, than others. There's still, but it's still, it's still a noble profession. We got a job. We are, we are looking out for them. We are trying. There are a lot of great journalists who give up a lot and who work very hard, usually for very little right. money, to True. bring you the best information they can. Great to see you both. Thank you, you, you Megan. So Lena Dunham, Tom Hanks, and Brian Kilmeade. <laughs> Only one of them is here. Next. <laughs>